Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, I'm here to talk about the energy that you're going to be in, um, possibly, for this full moon that we're that's going on right now, okay? It's the beaver moon, um, a cold full moon, okay? And um, there's a lot going on, you guys. Um, so anyway, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, Cancer, because you guys know I'm not an astrologer. I can only give you in like layman's terms, right? Um, normal everyday terms of what I think it, you're going to be going through during this full moon. Okay, so definitely just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And thank you, my darlings. I love you. Thank you so much for all of your support. I truly do mean that. Thank you to all of my subscribers. A big warm welcome to everybody new here. Hi, I'm Mammy Becca. All right, so um, I read up on it a little bit because you guys know I'm not an astrologer, okay? And honestly, I kind of forgot that today was the full moon because I fell asleep in my chair, <laughs> right? And um, that's one of the themes for this full moon is rest and relaxation, especially for cancers. That's what I was reading on. Getting a lot of your rest um, and you deserve it, okay? You deserve it because you've been, you went through a lot, you've been working really hard. So you may find yourselves just wanting to you know what sounds really good is just cozying up by the fire in a nice warm blankie, doesn't it? Or, um, you know, you could, be, you could be, I'm seeing somebody giving themselves a facial. I'm seeing somebody with their hair wrapped in a towel. You could be taking like a spiritual bath as well. I know I had that planned for today um, before I remembered it's the full moon. Okay, so we're going through that kind of getting rest and relaxation kind of energy. You're also going to be like maybe thinking about things that have happened to you in the past. It's kind of leading up to a final release. Okay, um, this is a time where um, we're truly letting go. Okay, getting rid of all of the pains from the past, the fears, the worries, the heartache, the betrayal. Um, so I feel like you're putting a lot of that behind you, but it may dredge up some emotions in you. You may find yourself getting irritated. You may find yourself getting really sad and emotional, but that's kind of part of releasing as well. Okay, it's almost like, <laughs> you know, they're showing me, they're showing me like, um, I don't know what it is. It's like pulling up all of this energy from inside of you like goo so that you can release it. But it's it just feels sticky. So I feel like you're going to, I know, you're going to be, um, you're going to be thinking about things from the past. All right. You may be doing some purging, some crying, you guys. Um, but this is a final release, man. You're feeling like um, you're going to be feeling really good, I think, after this full moon energy, after this release, okay? Um, also, um, there's this energy where, you know, Mars has something to do with this as well. And I feel like um, there's, it feels like a friction. Like part of you, like part of people want to get rest and, and there's another part that's on the verge of irritation, right? So you could be ir easily irritated or um, aggravated, I want to say, okay? Especially, I think, if somebody interrupts your rest time. Okay, I find that very important, especially like I keep seeing someone in a spiritual bath just wanting some peace and quiet, doing maybe doing a little bit of crying, kind of thinking about things that happened to you in the past and somebody comes and knocks on the door you know i need you to do this for me and i need you to do that for me i feel like something like that could irritate you you could be very easily irritated in the next i don't know four days five days something like that okay but this is this is the end of um a cycle this is where that door is closing. You can feel it too. And here's the thing. If you're going through this, Cancer, guess what? I feel like your person or whoever is on your mind is going through the exact same thing. If it's a masculine energy, especially with Mars involved, I feel like they're going to be 
um, very irritated at this time. They're also closing out a cycle at this time. They're also thinking about the past stuff, stuff that they've done, things that they've lost at this time. Okay, so I'm feeling like a lot of irritation coming off of your person, um, aggression. So if they're breaking it off with someone, ending a cycle with someone, it's going to be very aggressive. Okay, aggressive endings, um, very abrupt endings. I mean, this is like somebody who like puts the hammer down. You know what I'm saying? Um, in a very irritated I feel like something's going to irritate somebody to the point where they kind of snap, all right? Thinking about all of the past stuff, maybe of coming to a realization, too, of what they've lost. Um, we're all kind of going through the same thing, but honestly, Cancer, so far, the only thing that I've really experienced out of this myself is that rest and relaxation. So... Since I'm a big part of this soul tribe and this collective here, I feel like for the most part, Cancer, you're just going to be trying to get some rest and chill. All right. But you could be picking up on that aggression, that irritation, um, that anxiety off of your person heavy, heavy in the next four to five days. Right while they possibly end um, a situation with someone else, okay? You know, and we can usually, it's led up to this too. Honestly, you guys, for the last, I don't know, week, I've been picking up on, in my readings, I've told you that you could be feeling your person's intense energy, right? Um, this, this week, it could be really intense, because your person's energy is going to be kind of unstable. Look, yeah, and they're getting the strength and the courage and the bravery to take a stand for themselves. Like, this is going to be abrupt, and it's going to be, um, it's going to be intense. I don't know what else to say. Yeah. I f and here you are, you're in this protective bubble. <laughs> so here's your person kind of in the background, taking care of their own business, getting irritated, um, get, uh, getting kind of fed up. It's that fed up feeling. I'm just sick of this. Look at this person's face. I'm sick of what's going on. I need to end this, right? Um, looking at the world as if they're planning some kind of battle here, you know, some kind of strategy. Um, I feel like, yeah, you're going to feel that pretty intense cancer, but you are protected. And look at you here, all cozy, You get a cup of coffee, right, in your protective bubble, just kind of chilling, feeling safe, right? You may feel a little bit concerned because you're going to be feeling that energy around you. Yeah, but um, somebody may also come to talk to you, Cancer, or, um, you know, I don't know, maybe you might want to even talk to someone else. You know, maybe you may want to ask some advice from someone or confide in someone about something. But I'm honestly getting this very, this feeling of being very protective, really cozy. I'm getting cozy for you and snapping kind of energy from your person okay <laughs> yeah see they're you know what they're ending something here with a karmic and you know the karmic individual she knows it too she's looking pretty ex exhausted to me you know i feel like she's been hoping and waiting that this person would take her hand um, she's hoping and waiting that they'll pay some attention to her, but all this person can think about is someone from their past. This is all those past memories, thoughts, things that have happened in the past coming back around to this person. And they're kind of like, see how they're, they're sort of juggling this little ball here. This is that, um, this is that strategic planning. How am I going to get back to someone from my past? They're completely turned away from the person that they're currently with. So I know that that's about to end. Like this is like where the door slams and you can feel the slam. Okay, that's kind of what it feels like. All right. 
Yeah, but Cancer, you're so protected out here. I think you're going to be mostly just chilling, you know? You may be thinking about, like, doing a review in your mind about things that have happened in the past. You may even do some crying, but honestly, I don't see... I really don't feel any, like, anxious, anxiety kind of energy off of you, all right? New perspectives. There may be somebody um, who's going to... See, look, I, see, I feel like this person is moving out. Um, there may be somebody around you who may want to try to change your perspective somehow about something, maybe even spirituality. Somebody may challenge you. Okay, because of your spiritual beliefs. But Cancer, I feel like you're just going to be um, pretty chill about it. I, I really don't see you um, losing your temper or getting, you know, uh, like in your emotions at all. I, I really don't. I feel like, especially for my soul tribe here, most of us are pretty darn healed from the situation already. Um, I mean, I've been with you guys now on this journey. We've been doing it together um, for years. So, But I do see a masculine packing up and moving away, and they're being a brood about it. Um, I, people could, they may go against this person because what they're doing is controversial or what you're doing is controversial and somebody doesn't like it. I feel like this person is leaving. And when I say controversial, I mean like there's a lot of people around this person that don't want them to leave that situation. But um, I'm getting that they're kind of becoming a brute about this, a warrior. They're stepping up, you know, releasing, releasing. And I feel like they're being guided as well. They could be very, very in touch with their spirit guides right now, as are you. Um, I'm just seeing this masculine energy out here, standing strong, having a victory, and releasing something, feeling really good about it. Yeah, see, there's like a whole friend group, family members, that are against this person walking away from the karmic. But that's what they're doing, okay? Yeah. That's what they're doing. And, I, you know, I feel like this person was getting to the point where they were feeling really drained. If you notice, through this process, once they get their courage up, they're, they're getting their color back. They're getting their health back. Um, I feel like that breaking away from a karmic situation that's not for them is going to be improving their health somehow, improving their state of mind. Okay. It's going to feel good. I, I, I feel like the release of your person um, is going to feel good for you. All of that um, sadness, the sorrow, the hurt, right? Releasing that is going to feel good, Cancer. But re for your person, releasing this karmic situation is going to feel flipping awesome. Okay? You may be getting a lot of intense, very intense dreams right now. Or your person could be, or you could, you could both be dreaming about each other, having these intense visions um, of each other, okay? Especially in a meditative state. So maybe when you're taking that spiritual bath, somehow you're getting like little, it's like little stops and starts, um, little visions of what is going on in the background. You may even be able to see that this person is packing up and moving out. All right? I feel like your person's third eye chakra is opening. They could be experiencing some headaches, some dizziness right now. Yeah. Right now, though, I see their mouth is shut. So I feel like... This person just wants to be alone after this. They want to get away from whoever they've been with and this cycle. They want to get away from all of these people that are against them leaving, and they want to be alone. I'm getting the sense that this person wants to be alone. And while they're isolating themselves, they're going to be getting um, this. Their spiritual team is coming in to talk to them. Okay, that's what's happening here. All right. 
they're being shown some things here, Cancer. Their third eye is opening. They're going to be having some intense dreams, possibly about you. As above, so below. Okay. Yeah, they're getting some heavy downloads of what to do next. Um, and you're kind of relaxing. You're going to be getting downloads as well, but I feel like it's more about like your, what you're manifesting for the future, okay? Yeah, see, here's that rest and relaxation while you're very, very, very protected, though, all right? Very protected, uh, protected by the divine. Yeah, see, your person's going to be doing some shadow work. Okay, they they need to get themselves into isolation, and this is that time. You know, the universe is making it happen. This is what's aligning for this person right now. So they are going to end up isolating themselves so that spirit can work on this person and give them the downloads that they need. They need to get the instructions loud and clear to figure out where to go next, right? Or to start their shadow work, all right? So, because this person, they may have been in denial or projecting things onto everybody else for the longest time. Now is when they need to learn shame for that. So I feel like they need to take a look at themselves and the things that they've done. Um, but they are breaking away from an entire group of people, including that karmic relationship. You are out here like, um, it, this is to me, it's like high priestess energy. Um, you're just kind of be laying low, okay? I want to say laying low, being real quiet about things, not saying much to anybody. Maybe you're in this energy of where you just want to chill out. You just want some peace. You don't want to talk to anybody right now. You just want to, you know, pop in a, a good Christmas movie, wrap up in a blankie, have a cup of tea, that kind of thing. That's what I'm going to be doing tonight. So, yeah, um, but you are going to be picking up on this person's energy. And when you go to sleep, I feel like you may have some dreams about them. Okay, once again, as above, so below. It's the same triangle. Uh, you could even be getting some heavy downloads as well. All right, I'm seeing again you in water, so a spiritual bath. Maybe you're going to be taking a swim today or hanging out by a lake today. I feel like you're getting in your element. You're also doing that reflection, like I said, um, thinking about things that have happened in the past, feelings that you've had. You have to pull them out and look at it in order to throw it out, okay? And this is how you're releasing here. So you, you may get emotional, you may do some crying with all the water, but um, I, I, feel like, I feel like for the most part, though, you're going to be in a very peaceful, calm state, okay? Your person, though, not so much. I, I'm, they're having to take a look at the patterns of their own behavior, okay? They need to realize they can't keep projecting everything onto everybody else and blaming everyone else. Um, they can't be in denial. They can't be blaming the universe for what they've gotten themselves into. And I feel like they, they do need to feel and take accountability for the things that they've done. All right? And that's, that's what this shadow work kind of is all about, taking a good look at themselves, okay? There's going to be some drama. People are going to want to control what this person is doing. There's going to be a lot of conflict, okay? But they're, going to, they're taking a stand. I, I don't think I've ever seen this person be as strong as they are in this reading, okay? As above, so below. There's that same triangle. So you're releasing, they're releasing. You're purging, so are they, okay? Um, you're doing some reflection of what's happened to you in the past and they're self-reflecting on the things that they've done in the past. You guys are totally mirroring each other now. Do you see? 
You could be dealing with um, an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe a Gemini. I feel like this full moon is going to be very intense for Gemini. Look at, and yeah, here, divine feminine energy here. This is also like Gemini energy to me. The, your third eye is going to be popping, Cancer, okay? You may be um, looking further into like, Tapping into maybe um, another area of your spirituality or maybe discovering that you may have um, some other abilities. Or um, I'm just feeling like heightened abilities here, especially when it comes to your psychic abilities and your third eye. Your intuition. I feel like as you look back on everything, Cancer, you're going to realize that you've been nothing but a fearless warrior through this whole entire thing. And like I said, because of all that you've been through and everything that you've accomplished in this last journey, Cancer, you deserve this rest and relaxation time. You deserve it. You deserve it. So you know what? Curl up on the couch, Cancer. Have a bowl of chili. Watch an awesome movie. Watch a stupid movie. Those are fun, too. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I love stupid movies, man. You know? They're so entertaining. But, yeah, put your little footies on, you know? Curl up in that blanket, Cancer, and get comfy. Yeah. And I feel like you may, um, you may even start feeling very, like, having a lot of creativity. Okay? Very creative energy here. Um, you may want to paint. It may help you um, to paint or uh, work with clay or do something creative right now just to just to deal with all of the crazy emotions, honestly, um, because you are purging. You are looking at um, maybe some painful memories from the past, but there is that hint of you could get ir easily irritated. OK, um, you could get easily annoyed and I feel like working with something creative, maybe painting a picture. It doesn't have to be big. You guys, I paint rocks, so and I'm pretty darn good at it, too. <laughs> I'll show you some. I'll show you some. But um, yeah, go outside, grab a rock cancer and and, uh, you know, paint a masterpiece. It doesn't, I feel like that creative ability and working with your hands, um, it's going to help you really deal with the, it's such a, it's such a difference in, in emotions. Okay. On one side, you have these kind of explosive, anything can happen. Anything can, it can pop off easily irritated kind of emotions coming at you from your person's energy and then you've got this kind of like a last goodbye to the sadness kind of energy right nostalgia coming from the other side so yeah um you could have gemini in your chart heavy I and mean, then that's what this is gemini energy okay but cancer, if you know, when you start feeling like um, irritated or maybe like you can't sit still or something like that, you know, pick up a paintbrush or do something creative. Pick up a pencil and, you know, write, write it down, something like that. I feel like it's, it's going to clear up like in a snap of a fingers and you're going to go back to cuddling, you know, on the couch again with a bowl of popcorn or you know what I mean? I feel like you can handle your emotions way better than your person's going to be able to handle them. But you're going straight into a new cycle, and your person's going straight into dark night of the soul, if you look at it that way. Okay, you're purging, you're releasing. I feel like you're starting a new cycle, and your person, they're starting a new cycle too, but they haven't done all their work yet. Um, so they're, they're being dropped directly into dark night. That's the feeling that I'm getting. However, they are getting their butts out of a karmic situation that's turning toxic for them. Okay. So it's a, it's a big change. All right. 
And I feel like it has everything to do with emotions, Cancer. You know, um, just try to keep yourself peaceful, chill. If you have like um, a burst of energy, try to put it into something creative. Okay. Yeah, resilient, bold, and sassy. You're like, I can do this, Becca. We got this. Yeah, we do. We've got this, Cancer. I'm telling you, yes. You're like, I've already made it through all of that healing and all of that anxiety and being frustrated. I've already made it through that. I'm good. I'm resilient. I'm bold. I'm sassy. I'm Cancer. Yes, I'm telling you. I just heard somebody go, woo-woo. <laughs> I love you, Cancer. You so rock. All right, so what else can you show me for this awesome full moon energy that we're going to be in? Yeah, I feel like the masculines are kind of going through it, though. <laughs> you know? Life lessons, learning life lessons. Um, I'm getting the sense, too, it says in integration. So I feel like... Um, and new abilities, new knowledge, right, is coming down to you um, and your person. You're both going to be getting downloads like crazy, okay? You are. Um, yeah, multiple. You might even want to write it down. I'm kind of seeing that. Just write it down, Cancer. Take a piece of paper and write it anywhere, okay? Don't, don't work from lines, right? Write it anywhere. And then try to connect some things because I feel like any memory you have that all of a sudden, ding, oh my gosh, I forgot all about this. I forgot all about, sorry, you guys, my battery died again. I can't keep up with, my, my equipment cannot keep up with me, okay? <laughs> anyway, as you have memories of the past during this time in the next week, okay, you're going to be remembering things that you forgot all about. And it could be a puzzle piece to help give you some closure, okay? Um, so even if it's something as simple as something someone said, or, oh my gosh, that's right, that person turned just so, I totally spaced that. You know, I mean, it could be anything, even the smallest thing in detail. I feel like you should take a blank piece of paper, write it anywhere and i'm telling you you could probably connect the dots and put everything together do you see what i'm saying it feels like puzzle pieces falling into place for you with all of these downloads that are coming to you and the way that the universe wants you to close out a cycle i feel like spirit is going to be sending you the answers that you need to get your closure does that make sense so write it down write it down I feel like it all kind of connects, okay? And your person, they're being shown the same stuff. They're being shown the same things, okay? So, um, yeah, you guys are totally mirroring each other, but I'm telling you right now, you feel way stronger and way better than your person does. They're just beginning their work, okay? All right, so give me just a couple more. These crazy full moons, man. And, you know, honestly, water signs will feel this energy, I think, more intensely than any other zodiac sign. Um, and Cancer, you're one of the most intuitive signs in the zodiac. So this could, this could be kind of an intense, an intense time for you. You're, not only are you feeling your emotions, but you're going to be picking up on your per person's emotions, too, because... Um, they're aggressive. They're aggressive emotions. You're going to be picking up on that. Okay. Yeah. Messages. What did I say? You're going to be picking up on all of this. Um, signs. You're going to be getting a lot of downloads. You're going to be getting a lot of signs and synchronicities from the divine. Um, I just feel like you're going to be getting a lot of downloads. You may even feel your spirit guides all around you, or you may be able to feel like a shift happening here. Okay. You may even, your spirit guides may even give you an idea. You know, like, hmm, 
I wonder what would happen if I did start learning about astrology or astral projection or telekinesis or you know what I mean I feel like they're gonna be having you do some like homework on something you could be doing you could start researching some new skill or some new area of your spirituality just like at the drop of a hat or maybe you're you could have the TV on flipping through the channels and see a documentary or a documentary just comes on and you're all of a sudden like totally glued to the TV learning about it. It could be something like that. I feel like you're going to be learning about something new here during this time. It's also going to rev up your creativity as well. And I feel like, you know, your spiritual team, they're giving you like... Um, it feels like like droplets of information. Um, it's also to keep your mind focused on something so that you can better handle all of this aggressive energy coming off of your person. Okay? Some of you could be just wanting some solitude, some peace and quiet. I feel like this is what's going, you know, it goes along with that rest and relaxation. Okay? All right, so you're going to be getting a lot of rest in the next four days. I want to say four days, maybe five this whole week. You could end up falling asleep in your easy chair just for no reason at all, like I just did, and waking up with some dreams, right? Um, write them down. Write everything down, Cancer. I feel like you'll be able to connect all the dots, or, okay? And here's that... Um, the patterns, right? Um, repetitive numbers. Um, it says beauty here also and nature. You could be spending some time outside in nature this week, getting grounded, getting grounded, getting stable, spending time by the beach, by a body of water maybe. Um, you could also be, like I said, um, giving yourself a facial, right, during this R&R &R time. I mentioned this. Okay, so yeah, I feel like you're going to be, somebody could be coloring their hair. You could be, um, you know, um, trying a new facial mask. You could be trying a new moisturizer. You're really going to, and you, you, that's nice fluffy robe that you wear, you know. Um, you're going to be really treating yourself and being kind to yourself in the next five days. Thank goodness, too, because cancer, you really deserve it. You really do. And I feel like this is, Spirit just wants you to have this time to regenerate, okay? And to release. Release and regenerate and rest and relaxation. All the R's, okay? <laughs> All the R's. It's R, 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 and R. All right? And I feel like your person, they will be watching you. They've been stalking you. They've been watching you, Cancer. What's new? Okay, they may feel some intimidation from you because they know what they've done to you. And now spirit is making them take a look at themselves. Okay, getting them isolated so they can truly look at themselves. But yeah, they're watching you too. They're watching you too, so just know that. I feel like they're not going to be approaching... Anytime soon, this person, it's going to take them a while to get through Dark Night of the Soul. I feel like, though, you are releasing them anyway, and you're going to be feeling darn good. You are. Um, just remember, you know, um, if you're going to use a facial mask, use one that you like, <laughs> right? Paint your toes, do your nails, cancer. If you're a man, you know what? Get a foot massage, something like that, right? Um, yeah, just really treat yourself, my darlings. And get creative. If you feel that intense, aggressive energy off your person, just jump into something creative, okay? And write down your downloads. Anything that you're thinking about, any kind of memory that you've forgotten about, I'm telling you, you will be able to connect the dots. That's for your closure. Okay? Really important energy this full moon, you guys. Um, and I just, I have a feeling, Cancer, that this is time that you need. You know, this is time that you need. 
maybe slow some things down, you know? Yeah, they're reminding me too of a saying. I don't I I don't remember who said it. I think it was it was a family member. They said, um, uh, don't don't put on hold things that bring you joy to clean the garage, okay? Um, yeah, if there's like maybe a mess in your garage, man, leave it. Leave it for now. Go take a bubble bath, right? Take a spiritual bath. Um, cozy up. Get some R&R, okay? I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's what you're going to end up doing anyway. It's just the energy that we're in right now. So anyway, my darlings, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. Um, like and subscribe to the channel. If you like this vibe, join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, Cancer, take care of you and peace out.